Hello and welcome, Yig here. Today we are looking at Star Knight, Order of the Vortex. The developer of this sent me a key a couple weeks ago. I was checking it out, I enjoyed it. Uh, came out yesterday, so if you like what you see here, there will be a link to the Steam page in the description. If you want to help the channel grow, subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. So real quick, uh, this is a roguelite um, side-scrolling shooter. Kind of feels... There haven't been a ton of these lately, so... This is going to be a little bit different than normal because, oh, but they do have a bunch of things, some of which I have not un equipped to unlock yet. So as you can see, I've got a couple things that I haven't done. This is just the attachment screen. There's relics. There's all kinds of things. I got all the ships. Most, got half the crew so far. I, the spot, the, the areas are pretty nice. There's a decent amount of enemies. There's some enemies I still have not seen. We'll get to why that is here in a moment. There are a number of different bosses, all that stuff. You can see my total deaths are 13, uh, 22 runs. Now that's technically inflated a little bit and I'll, I'll, I'll show you why. It's actually about, oh, I would say it's probably about 15, 14, 15 runs. And, I'll, and then, like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll explain that in a moment. All right, so that is your sort of meta progression stuff outside. You have these to unlock your void crystal levels. You just have to beat the one before it. Typical stuff there. Ships, you start with this one unlocked, and then it goes in this order. One, two, three, four, five, six, unlock. I haven't played with this one yet. I got done unlocking all of these earlier today. That was pretty nice. Let me go back in there. Crew, I've got a couple of them. I need to beat the, these are the void crystal levels. Oh, three fully upgraded attachments. I wonder how hard that's going to be. Hmm. I haven't quite got, oh, sometimes it feels like I barely get one. Well, I wonder what fully upgraded is. Interesting. Okay. Well, we'll have to find out one of these days. So a lot of these are going to be on that and then uh, win a run in the serpent with the pilot. So that would be him. And to unlock the maverick, we need to win a run in the serpent with the pilot, which wasn't the serpent. Let's go see that. That back button. Me and that back button. We don't get along. The head. No, 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 no. We'll probably go with... I. Here, we're going with the basic fighter because he's got kind of... Well... Ooh, that's tough. You know what? We're going to go with the big boy. We're going to go with the battering ram fighter. Now, there's two, two, some interesting stuff here. Now, I'll show you what I meant about why my run numbers inflated a little bit. Let's see. Should we go? We'll go at least on level two. All right. So, we need... We don't really have a... That's just three. Complete a run with a squire at or above void crystal three. Squire, what do you got? Okay. We can do that. We can... Probably. Ooh, Void Crystal 5. Wow. Void Shard 3. 8 relics in one run. Interesting. Kill at least 400 enemies in a single run. Win a run with at least 3 fully up. Okay, so... Squire at or above. We could probably do that. And we could try it out on 3. What we'll do there is we'll get this guy. Because he's going to get... He's going to offset. This ship has... Oh, yeah, that's right. We get an extra person. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, who do we put in here? I think we're going to go with the mechanic. The fire rate decrease kind of... But the fire rate increase, yeah. Or this. That one's good, too. Okay, let's go there. We got the black market guy. Okay. So this ship is a little bit beefier and a little bit slower than the original ship you go in. All right. So if you were to be starting the game, and if you're the developer and you see this, uh, there you might want to change something minor on this screen. Um... Uh, I had more than a couple times where I, where my randomized weapons in the beginning didn't actually include anything that did any damage. And while you can get around that, and I'll show you and I'll explain that, generally you it, it didn't feel great to be starting that way. So instead, what I would do is I would just back out to the main menu, reload, and it would generate another one. So I did that about four or five times because I didn't want to run. I didn't want to start a run without a weapon. Now we're actually gonna just going to start with one. This ship starts with four. The other ship starts with three and it goes faster. And we're going to not grab anything here. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to show you why I say that's you don't necessarily have to. Now we're going to be up here at the top of the screen. You don't necessarily have to. This ship, by the way, its hitbox is a little bit smaller than its than its sprite. 
All the rest of the ships matched up really well, so I knew when I was about to die. This ship was the only one that kind of, I was able to occasionally live in some situations where I shouldn't have. So I, while the early levels here are slow, where I'm gonna be talking, this will be a little different because I might not be able to talk too much. So if you look up here, we've got level progress. That's the end of the level period. Okay, Ooh, there we go. The dash to get up there. Now, the reason I was saying you can live without starting with a weapon is there's a thing you can do in the beginning of the game. In this game, you've got to think about your economy. What? I'm in a, I'm in a ship game. See, see how that those two pass through me? Just like there's a little bit of the ship that doesn't actually have a hitbox. When the end of the level hits, anybody that's alive, that's alive turns into a credit. So if you start with no weapons and you just avoid getting hit the whole time and don't die, It'll convert them all to credits. You can actually boost your economy that way. On these first two levels, I found that was pretty easy to do, especially if I was on a ship that didn't have great economy. All right, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I was just explaining some things. So that is one of those things you, you can help. Now, each of these has a thing you see where this says gun, this says merchant, summoner, merchant, seeker right here. That is their category and they have beneficial buffs for stacking those types of things. So we're gonna buy this. And then we're going to... This would be almost tempting, but I'm going to end up with... I wonder if we should try that. Yeah, let's go ahead and try that. So we'll do a, we'll, we'll do this guy. Okay, so, and he's going to increase our credit pull radius, which is going to make this guy's job harder. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, so... On the first two levels, it's fairly easy to get through the levels without actually getting hit. Doesn't matter what ship you're using. You just gotta dodge. You just gotta focus on dodging and you will get there. I guarantee you. We're gonna try and ride that thing as much as possible. Like I said, this game, you do have to think about your economy and that can include, depending on the ship you're on or the weapons you're using, that can actually include a, uh, a certain amount of, uh, making sure that you pick certain upgrades. There's upgrades that help you generate money for but there's two weapons and I want to point that out for you. So if you end up, if you play this, what you'll find is that the seeker and the uh chainer weapons. So seekers are just what, what they say on the tin. It's a it seeks and hits them like guided missiles and that sort of thing. And then the chainer is just your chain lightning sort of thing. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if any of them actually use lightning, but the point being, it is just that sort of that concept of uh, things. Those two are very hard to keep things alive till the end of the round to convert to credits. So on those, you have to like extra be careful to grab something that helps you get a little bit more credits, whether these two are the best, the ones I've had the best experience with, but that doesn't necessarily that mean that'll be what you have the best experience with. And it does make a difference. All right, we're gonna re-roll a little bit here. I would still like to, I wanna get one more gun if possible. So. Or we could always do that. We could always upgrade, well, you know what? We'll just do that, we'll upgrade right now. This is tempting. But the only reason, yeah, see, Chainer, they automatically target and hit, and it's not just hitting what's in front of you, so it's vastly harder with Chainers and and with um, Seekers to keep things dead, so to speak, in front of you. I want him to pick up as much as possible because he doubles it and it makes it two. But until you get the first or second pickup, second level on him, He's very, very slow. And when you get the second, we have two merchant items with the plus 100. Ooh, that was nice. With the plus 100% that he gives. Once we get the second level, it won't be that bad. Once he gets his, his second level, it increases his speed a lot. And then he can get stuff because sometimes like if anything gets past him he cannot move forward fast enough backwards to actually get there oops i detonated him that was not what we wanted to do we could hide up here we're at the end of the level unfortunately he goes away uh, yeah so we got an extra two credits but yeah as you can see like our economy is crazy our 
normally at this point you 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 have like one or two weapons and not even close to this. All right, see how this is? His move speed is so much faster. We 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 absolutely need to buy that because it's just crazy difference. I thought about this, but it doesn't actually stack anything, so it's like yeah, well maybe not. Ooh, we could already choose an upgrade path for our. All right, so his move speed's a hundred. A level two cannon increases the value detection radius 900. I think we're going to go with this because we want him to just pick up as much stuff as we can possibly have him pick up. The way we're going to stack it, we want him to be flying all over the screen, yoinking all the coins. Because we're going to grab, a, we're going to get a bunch of coins, and it means that we don't have to rely on our, we don't have to rely on drops. And these guys too. Yeah, see now he can now he can just be everywhere. And with the other thing generating coins, we're gonna get tons more coins than we would normally have at this point. That is gonna make our job easy. Now, as this gets on, I'm gonna end up going a little bit quieter and a little bit quieter and a little bit quieter. The game has absolutely wonderful, pristine hitboxes. The hitboxes are great. This is the only ship I did want to mention, like I said. The hitbox for the ship is slightly smaller than the hitbox than the sprite, but that's... You know, that happens occasionally. Oof, look at that. Oh, we are making so much money. So much money. Oh, you are just... Absolute fantastico. It's going to get harder. Now... So while we're in these early levels, I wanted to tell you about the things I liked about the game. 40 credits. That move speed goes up by a big chunk. We're going to lock that, and I'm still going to re-roll, though. I'm only going to re-roll the one time. I really want to get the rest of this stuff up in levels and get this spot filled with another gun so I can get some gun synergy. Right now we have merchant synergy, but gun synergy would really make me happy. As it goes on, we're, it's going to be harder for me to talk because this game does get very, very difficult. It's actually really well done. The bullet patterns are not only aesthetically pleasing, especially the bosses. The bosses have some really nice patterns and that's kind of nice in a game like this where you get a really good pattern going and you can be like yeah oh we're gonna get hit no matter what we do i could have uh, technically i could have dashed oh. oh okay let's get past those guys i don't want to deal with those guys anymore. we're gonna deal with these guys over here all right but yeah so yeah it, it is uh it is a it is actually a quite a budget right too it's uh five dollars um, and, uh, you know, it's it's not a huge game, but that's, I mean, it's $5. That's kind of what you expect. It's, they have their roadmap out. The roadmap actually looks good. Uh, like I said, the, the, the boss, the patterns, even some of the wave patterns are, are aesthetically pleasing. Like, you can tell the people that made, people or person, I don't know if it's just one. You can tell that they, they play these games because not only are the bullet patterns fun to dodge, but they're fun to actually look at, too. And you could kind of tell if somebody wasn't. One more attachment slot? Yeah, absolutely, I'll take that. That's gonna make a huge difference. Now we could get this 40 credit one here, and we will. We wanna get another... Hey, that's my cannon. I need to lock you. Okay, let's try again. Let's see. Siphon gun. That'll give us medical plus gun. So let's do that. That's gonna get us that. And we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and roll a little bit just to see if we can get. Yeah, there we go. We'll get three guns now. So we'll need one more gun to get the next step of its. Now, I don't want to show you everything, so what we'll do is probably do, I think, this yeah, This isn't the last boss. We'll do, we'll do about 30 minutes of this. Um, runs themselves are fairly short. There is no saving mid-run. Um, like I said, the patterns do, uh, they, this is a great example. The patterns are actually, in games like these, one of the things about having a nice, having... It, one of the things about making it look great is having that nice patterns to go on their attacks. And so uh, I, I like to joke that that, that, is, that they work to make it as distracting as possible. 
Which is not what they're doing, but it is funny because that kind of ends up how it feels sometimes because it's like, wow, that pattern's really nice. Wow, and it's like, oh yeah, man, now I just got hit by a rock. So yeah, but when we get into the later stages, we'll be like that, well, I'm where I'm, you're not gonna hear me talk because I'm gonna be over here like ducking and weaving between tiny spaces here. So yeah, the you can tell that they they played these games, and this seems to be a genre I can. I feel, they used to be super common, like right up until like the PS2, it feels like. And then they kind of just, again? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> awesome. All right, well, let's upgrade that. We do have repair. So we could get the repair droid and that would give us repair. Or if we can find something gun. We would be really happy. A siphon gun, which will get us repair. And that. Uh, level two, because we already have it. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm going to do that. Uh, we're going to buy that. And we're going to buy that. And then we do not have enough to reroll for that last slot. But, wow. We're going to be we're gonna be decked out with guns. Hey, 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 hey. Can you? Can you? Can you? No. No. <clears throat> Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, ooh. oh, oh, uh, so the default probability, by the way, of the dropping of a coin is 25%. And if your luck is bad, that means you could possibly go a long time without a coin. And I have to be only of some of the worst luck you will ever see when it comes to RNG. I'm the guy who's going to be sitting there for like an age not having anything. And... That's why having those, like, meta, the, not the meta, but the, the, the economy stuff is actually important because that 25% is not something you can rely on to get you through. You got to have some, ch something, you, either the ability using, say, like, bullet type guns to keep these guys alive until the very end of the wave so that they all convert into coins like that, or you got to have one of these attachments that gets you things if you're good enough, you can. I am not this good. But if you were good enough, that's so tempting, but it's 80 credits. 40 credits, though, is going to get us. That's going to make that cannon really beefy. That's why we lock that. We want that. We're going to. This is tempting, but we're going to re roll because a lot of that stuff you can't really afford until the very end. We actually have so much. Like, like again, that, like, our. Oh, our economy is great our spaces are great everything is great i'm gonna get myself killed in a dumb way because this is all so great i will be overconfident and then do that run into things i really like the patterns the patterns are really nice and if you play the old games like uh r type and, and radius and uh games like that now well this isn't as big as some of those games some of those games are actually remarkably small not gonna lie like, there was a sum that would be six or eight levels total. Unless they had a save system or, or a uh, or a code system to load you on the level. You would often find that those games were terribly large because you were expected to get through it in, a, in one sitting. They didn't really, some of them didn't come with saves at all. So it's 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 interesting, but it is it is like a five dollar game. So it is a really good value. And honestly, I've already played. At this moment, I'm just under eight dollars. So had I actually paid full price for this game, I'm already under a dollar an hour. Like that to me is a fantastic ratio. Or Battle Cannon. Oh yes. Ooh. Ooh. This would upgrade our... Okay, okay, okay. So, let's lock that. Let's buy that. We might want to lock this and just keep it. Because this would upgrade this. And would give us an extra level of repair so we would have the synergy there. So we, we I think we want to hold on to this until we can, we get another space over here. I don't know if we will, but we'll try it. <laughs> all right, let's go with that. And all right, let's go with orbital gun upgrade. Let's just see if we can hopefully get a, oh, oh. oh. 
If that shotgun wasn't upgraded, I would replace it with this in a heartbeat. This is low damage, but it actually fires so fast. So we're going to lock that. I don't think we're actually going to grab it, but we'll, we'll lock it for the moment. Just in case. It basically fires three straight projectiles across the screen that are eventually upgraded either to slightly more damaging projectiles or... Um, oh, those guys get me off These guys are probably the one that I end up getting hit by the most because... Their backwards and forwards movement apparently baffles my perfect opaque brain. Yeah, that that thing is paying off so good. This is how you get like all the upgrades. Now I know. I gotta do it this way. Oh, look at that! Look at all that! Money. Look at all that money he's getting us. Now, if I could upgrade the amount of points that here for enemies. There's a there's an upgrade that actually does that. So it's like we could actually somehow stack more world upgrades here. And it'll just be amazing. Oh my, my friend. Ooh, we got 82 already. We'll be able to actually go another level on one of these. That's nice. Ooh, what do we got? Shield breacher. Oh, that's tempting. That's super tempting. This would be okay, but our economy's crazy, so. Damage for guns and seekers and bullet spray multiplier. This is tempting too, but I think we'll go. With the mini mine ammo. We could do 50 credits, but I don't have a bullet speed multiplier that I know of. So that's probably not gonna do anything. So we'll do that. Shield recharge is nice. Alright, here's our cannon. That goes up to 300. That is just crazy. And it does. Jeez. Yeah, no. We'll, we'll take it. That is so much damage. That is like an insane amount of damage. Yeah, there's a point in this in this type of game where essentially I'm no longer looking over here. I'm looking here, and it's just so that you're you're just dodging because so there's like there are definite waves in this game that will just. There's bullets everywhere. Of course, that is why we buy this. To get this type of... That's why you play this type of game. To get those cool situations where there's like 50 things and you just duck and weave right through everything and then not get hit like that. See, this is what I'm saying. I'm just, soon, I have to stop speaking. Otherwise, oh, otherwise I keep getting hit. That's Oh, oh, I did so bad. He was dead for most of the time, so he couldn't pick up any coins. Oh, there's a... 40 credits? Probably wouldn't be terrible to lock that one in. We don't have anything. We don't have a space to buy anything, so anything else would have just been upgrades, which is fine. I, mean, I think that's going to work out for a while. All right, let's try to do a little better reps this time. Okay. I will be focused a little more on this and a little less on talking. I told you why I like it, and now you'll kind of get to see as it gets a little bit more hectic. That's why we'll, we'll probably go into the, like, towards the 30 minute mark. Uh, just simply so you get kind of an idea of how it looks when it's a little bit more hectic than it is at the moment. I think I only did, like, two minutes, so it's not super hectic. We'll go to like the next boss, the next big boss. It's only a couple of levels away. There's a set of bosses that is basically similar to that way in Gold It's like very crazy and it's a bullet in two. Like awesome. It was really good. Ah, I should have dashed, but my pride. My pride said, no, I can sneak it. No, I could not. I should have dashed. All right. Yeah, because we're going to get to this next boss right here. So we'll go one or two past him at that point. And try, shotgun, I still kind of want you. All right, I got my 40 credits so I can upgrade this thing. That'll work there. We'll hit that refresh button just to make sure. Then we're going to go. All right. All right, which one is this one? This is, should be the three shift. This is the three shift? Hey, oh, it is. This is the one. I'm so glad this is the one we got. I mean, I'm going to die. And, in an embarrassing manner, uh, but 
when I said, like, aesthetically pleasing and difficult is kind of the name of these types of games, and I think that they did a really good job in their boss fights on them, because each of these bosses, as you kill each of these guys, the other dudes power up a little, and so it makes each fight slightly different, because you... Ah! Oh, I'm really careful. Oh, I'm doing so well. It makes each fight just a little bit different because you gotta work on who you're gonna kill first because they chew. each power up and do other attacks as you do it. So you end up with which one do I want to? Invisibility frames are doubled. That's maybe not terrible. Immediately gain 50 credits. We'll do that. All right. Ooh. Okay. So do we go with. I think we go with this. Because it's a good to heal us. Does it does it do anything else? It really wouldn't do it. It would get us repair, but I feel like I'd rather have the I'd rather have the gun. Okay, we'll unlock that for now. I ended up going with the gun. I felt better about the gun. Let's roll that up one or two times. Okay, so we have way more than enough credits, so we're gonna lock that. The shotgun's gonna go up to Seekers? No. More projectiles. Oh yeah, that makes this shotgun go away. So. Because we can't buy the same upgrade twice. Let's go ahead. And it did use my money, I think, though. No, it didn't. Alright. Now he's up to 80, which is fine. We'll lock that. And then I will reroll one more time, like I said. Uh, and this orbital gun can go up to... I like three orbitals for that, so that should work pretty nice. We got one more reroll without going under 20. There we go. That should be fine. All right, now we should... I didn't... I didn't... Now we should have, yeah, so the circle changed. This is a, a one more step up in our gun center. So we now fire faster and, uh, and reload faster too. So at this point, we kind of have a really good mobile weapon fire mode for the small ones, but the bosses are still legitimately hard fights, which is, again, good, because if you get a good bullet pattern, you gotta force me, you force me to move and not dodge. Okay, I'm just gonna dodge into everything while I'm talking, because apparently talking is not good. Ooh, let's get... This is where Seekers actually can kind of help you when you're starting off to get stuff. Because you can just focus on dodge, dodge, dodge. With Seekers... Ooh. Oh, I flew right into that. That was that was awful. With Seekers and the uh, Chainers, you don't have to think about that. So when you first start, those are the easy ones to start with to make you get better. To get your character better fast and get things unlocked, those are the easier ones to use, even though they do limit your economy. But like I said, if you have one of those two cards, you can kind of make up for that. All right, Orbital Guns, we're going to upgrade you. Get in here. Now we should be getting more and more. Okay, 16 enemies. Doesn't have a don't get hit. There are challenge rooms. And uh, one of the challenge rooms, the one that I tend to... I, if I realize it's going on, I can get it. But half the time I miss out on the challenge room that is the don't get hit. Because my brain's not paying enough attention. And I don't realize that it's don't get hit. And I'm like, oh, I can tank this shot. Oh, no, you can't. You're not supposed to. But that's a me. My little guy got booked. Alright. Avoid the rock, sir. No. Earlier he picks them out, the fat, the more he gets them versus me hitting them. And again, we want him to grab them because I'm just holding up the rear. He's gonna double. Ooh. That was close. That was close. I almost dodged right into it. Alright, let's see what we got here. Gun 15% rate of fire. That's pretty nice. Extra relic option would be one of these. Would this would be a four next time we get to it? Um 
That's not 80, so we're gonna re-roll. Uh, healing increase by two, current pull radius. We don't need, we don't want that. Let's go more. Enemy contact, 20% increased when under. Hmm. All right, well, I'll go with one more. I should've gone with the first thing. The first thing was apparently great. Damage, no, no damage decrease. Decrease, no damage. Base stats. Max health, acid damage. You know what? Of course, max health. Fire rate. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to roll. Since I'm already here, I'm going to roll in this. Fire rate. Man. Okay, there we go. Shields. An extra 10 shields would be fine. I totally meant to do that. <laughs> All right. Well, we don't have anything to upgrade here, and we don't have enough money to upgrade anything, so we will go right on with the business. It will not get out here in time to get this. Ooh. Ooh. So there's a really like on. It's not that I can't talk, it's that I can't keep a train of thought. <laughs> oh, you hurt my guy. He's not allowed. He is my money making machine. Yeah, the ability to, like, oh, I, I had a couple. One of my first runs, I had so little damage that I ended up skating through, like, I want to say it was, like, four stages. I got all the way to the boss, and from, like, the second stage, where I just was having no luck, and I get all the way to the boss, and, like, the boss fight took, like, after everything started speeding up, which was cool, it was like, oh, I must have hit some sort of, you should be moving faster than this thing. Because <laughs> it was, it was like all of a sudden every, all the, all the ship moved was super fast. I don't know if that's a, based off of how long you've been in that boss fight, but it was, no, no, I kind of felt it really well. Because it got, I mean, I, I, I mean, like seriously fast, like super noticeably fast. Like, these asteroids would go from here to here in, like, maybe a second and a half, two seconds. And it, was, it, it makes the boss fight no cracker. You can just sit there like, oh, God, if one asteroid catches me out, I am just so boned. Oh, oh, I got hit by the next one right outside the pattern. I saw the pattern, but I didn't see the other one. One of the nice things about having your, like, well, nice, nice looking, well made projectiles, and I know that they kind of might look some not so well made, not so much, not so well made, like, they don't take a lot of effort, they actually do, because getting these types of sim, you know, little glowing orbs to actually look like good, cute, nice, glowing orbs instead of, like, terrible is really hard to do. Ooh, do we do the upgrade path? Yes, we do. Okay, so five seconds? Five seconds. That'll give us more money. More. More money. Let's go with that. Since that's our original weapon, we'll stay with that. We will bring the noise. We have a lot of fire Very nice. Which it is making it a lot easier. But very, very, very speech. Money man ate two bullets for us. Alright, alright. Oh. He was assassinated on his way back home. This ship's, like I said, this ship has, since it has the extra thing and we are really lucky, we are like egregiously over firepower <laughs> compared to what I'm going to have at this point. The amount of firepower you normally have be because of the fact that we have those cards for basically skyrocketing our economy and 
the extra slots on the weapons that we've got. Because at this point, we would have two less of these. Normally, like standard, we would just be here. So we've had a lot of extra firepower this run. <laughs> like crazy amounts of extra firepower. We'll lock that one. Because that'll let us get somewhere good. All right. Mr. Yeah, oh yeah, this is what we're about to wanted to show. That's like I was really hoping this guy would get into one of our guys. I think he might actually okay. okay, 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 okay. So we're gonna take out this guy. So this guy has two. This guy has I wouldn't call them phases. He's got three sections. He's got these little things right here, one on each side. We do not want to deal with them. And then he's got the first thing and the second thing and the least thing. Look at these patterns. These patterns are great. Oh man, this thing murdered me when I had my my uh, seekers because they kept chasing the guys this way. <laughs> the shoop, shoop. I don't know if it was just something weird, but yeah, it was it was, it was kind of fun. All right. Ah, oh, we are victorious. All right. Oh, we unlocked the knight and the new void crystal unlock. Oh, yeah, that's right. So let's go look at that real quick, and then we'll jump out of here. So we got our new void to crystal, which is uh, new enemies. So that'll be where, where we get those. And we unlocked the knight, too. So, hey, mission accomplished. We got a good good amount of stuff done, including this. I think this is going to put this is probably going to put me right around nine to ten hours so far in here. So that kind of gives you an idea of how your progression is going to be. The roadmap does actually have more stuff, more stages, more bosses, more attachments. If you look at it, like, it's definitely going to be, if you like this style game, you, I think you're going to enjoy this because it feels like, it feels like the old, like, early 2000s, late 90s PS, like SNES PS1, PS2 era, where the, where you, the controls are there, the, the graphics are there. You can see what's going on on the screen. And, and when you die, it's you. You did something wrong. Like, every time I got hit in there, that was my fault. Not the game. That was something I did wrong. And it definitely makes a difference in this type of game. So the, so if you do like this type of gameplay, this sort of side-scrolling shooter, I think you'll enjoy this. Again, it's like five bucks. It's an amazing price. And it's very fun. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you come back for the next one. And most of all, I hope you have a great day.